This video is supported by Skillshare. When it comes to this channel, it's always about technology and it's always about business. One part of business that often gets little attention but is critical to success is logistics. It is hardly interesting, but it's very important, especially for an engineering company. By now, most people have seen this explosion. There are already many on YouTube talking about this technical aspects of starships, but this is actually the least we should worry about. What many don't realize is how supply chain and logistics is and will be an increasingly bigger part of the problem. Even Elon Musk admits that the real challenge for SpaceX is in mass production and in organizing resources at hand. So we'll talk about that today. Building a rocket is a complex process, and just one generation ago, in the 1970s, it took NASA six years to simply finalize the design of the space shuttle. The project was announced in 1968, and construction did not begin until 1974, six years later. Building and testing the space shuttle took another seven years, and finally we saw the shuttle shoot for the sky in April 1981, 13 years after the announcement. Here is a typical timeline of building a rocket. Defining mission objectives is usually the first step. Knowing what the rocket is designed for is crucial in knowing the boundaries and controlling the cost. Among all the components necessary, there are systems that make or break the whole project, such as the propulsion system. There are also less critical components, such as the communication system. Not because communications aren't important, only that we have mature technologies to be used for it already. Starship, for example, is between phase A and B, technology development and completion and the vehicle design. Once critical technology is identified and finished in the development phase, production begins. Here it is called SIR, System Integration Review. This makes sure that the design system is ready for assembly. Before the review, there are various steps to check the rocket design against mission objectives and to make sure the technology is ready. This is where Starship is right now. But taking a closer look at NASA's plan, what is missing from the plan? There's no mention of commercial factors. Or rather, commercial factors probably exist in many of the review processes, but are less important or less relevant because of the richest government in the world. The United States government is funding the companies. We see this quite clearly in the development of the space launch system. Despite billions of dollars over budget and years behind of its initial schedule, it is still alive and well. Even when it's done, it's going to cost half a billion per launch, which is disastrous against SpaceX price tag, but they still work well. This is what makes Starship unique. SpaceX is working with different economic principles because it is a commercial company with a mass production ambition. Producing one starship is not what's important. What's important is to produce hundreds or thousands of starships and tens of thousands of Raptor engines as a result. This is where logistics become extremely important. Think about Tesla. It is a huge hassle to make just a few thousand cars in the beginning. Production hell was called many times, and that's when the United States has the most extensive car supply chain in the world. To build one Model 3, Tesla can actually get components sent from all these companies listed in the image. But where are you going to get rocket components? There are no economies of scale and components must be of the highest quality because they're going to accelerate to over 30 times the speed of sound. The Motley Fool estimated a $20 trillion price tag on the whole Starship project over the next decades if Mars colonization were to be realized. And here are some of their assumptions based on Elon's tweets. A thousand flights with a thousand starships over 10 years. Two to three billion for developing starship, 900,000 for fuel per launch, 216 million to build each starship, and two million operating cost per launch. Motley Fool concluded at a $20 trillion total cost, but this is not too much because it's averaged over 10 million flights. Motley Fool is right in pointing out two categories of SpaceX supply chain rocket manufacturing and launch operations. Manufacturing is easy to understand. It is about coordinating shipments and assembly of millions of components in California. Launch operations are about coordinating the various pre-launch tests and coordinating between Starship flights because SpaceX has a plan to launch three Starships per day for an entire decade. Here is Elon's tweet to prove it. This is the challenge of the whole project. 
starting from the 2016 version crazy ITS architecture, SpaceX has progressed its design to what is now an achievable goal. Aspirations are now becoming actionable plans to test SN vehicles. Looking at the NASA roadmap to build new rockets, SpaceX is innovating the process by advancing many tests with its quick and dirty prototypes, but the process as a whole is still very much applicable. What SpaceX is doing right now is to create a rocket as powerful as Saturn V, but much more economic. This unlocks many business potentials such as what SpaceX is trying to do with Starlink, but with Starlink comes another supply chain problem because more satellites must be made by SpaceX this time. Going forward, it is clear that SpaceX will face many challenges. Many of us tend to focus on the most immediate obstacles such as getting the prototype to work or building Starship itself. But it is important not to forget the underlying issues, the real challenges and the deal breakers. Making sure SpaceX has the manufacturing and logistics capability is one of them. SpaceX is always expanding the boundaries of what we think is possible, setting ambitious goals, building new rockets and disrupting the communications industry with Starlink satellites. But what people don't see is Elon Musk and his engineers sleeping in the factory and working on new rocket designs 24-7. It always starts with individuals with a strong will and powerful habits. That's why I'm recommending Skillshare to you. Skillshare is an awesome online community with thousands of classes in analytics, business, technology, and more. I'm very happy to recommend to you a Skillshare original course created by a friend of mine, Thomas Frank. Real productivity, how to build habits that last. In it, he takes you through every step of building a new and powerful habit, expecting pain points, doing reflections, and what to do when you fail. He will help you understand how habit works, giving you the tool and setting you up for success. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for you. Two months of Skillshare for free. To sign up, visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access of Skillshare. By doing so, you're also helping this channel, so big thank you from me as well.